Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in this video today we are looking at a brand forgot I was <laughs> forgot I was using that. I'm sorry about that. In today's video we are reviewing the Nature of the Beast hand cannon, which is one of the new precision frame hand cannons. So typically with a hand cannon it has like the upwards and then to the right recoil, but for some reason they added so they added like a new type of hand cannon basically. It's just like the red death one. Um so it, instead of it being going up into the right and being a little bit more violent, it's like it shoots kind of like a, a semi-auto sidearm, I guess you'd say. And the perks on it are accurized rounds and a pended mag. You have a choice between the two. Right now I'm running Accurize for a little bit of extra range. You also have Dragonfly on it, which is Firefly from Destiny 1. Precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. And then for sights, you have a choice between Crossfire and Steady Hand. Right now, I'm using Steady Hand because for some reason, that seems to have the best registration, at least in my experience. And, you know, it's I don't know what gun it's reskinned after, but I feel like I, I, I've seen this before. Um, it's a cool color scheme, cool weapon. And I've been, try I've been trying to, okay, for, for this review, I'm gonna try to like keep it as accurate as possible, but you have to remember that when you run around in PvP and you have to deal with 9,000 of these things, I don't know if my my um my analysis of this hand cannon is going to be 100% accurate considering it's basically useless compared to this thing. <laughs> also, very quickly before I talk about how it performs in PvP, if you guys are looking into getting a computer and you say, oh wow, this sh the shipping cost is so expensive and you don't have a discount code to use, go to Ironside PC and use my discount code, Sir Demetrius, for 5% off. Shipping computers be can be very expensive sometimes, so 5% doesn't seem like a lot, but for the most part, you're gonna eliminate like all the costs of shipping. Uh, and without further ado, Let's get into the video. <laughs> So very similar to the Crimson, which I reviewed a few days ago, it feels very unnatural and kind of weird to me but after using you know hand cannons for three years of Destiny, and you're used to that aggressive recoil pattern when it goes up into the right. It's very weird to have it handle exactly like a scout rifle, so it goes straight up, right? So it's it's basically a medium range scout rifle that looks like a hand cannon, so you kind of like, you can't really flick shot as much, and when you get used to doing that for so long with normal hand cannons, it takes a while to get used to something like this. Even though technically you'd think that with less recoil, it's a lot easier to aim where your bolts are going and, and to keep your reticle on the target, I find that the flick shot process is actually a lot easier for me to hit shots uh, a higher percentage of the time. The perks on this gun aren't anything insane either. For the most part in Destiny 2, there's never any like necessary perks where like how it was in Destiny 1 where, oh my god, I got rifle barrel. This weapon, even though it might not be the best, is automatically pretty good simply because I have this perk on it. That is not the case with this weapon for the most part in destiny 2 perks have been normalized so you do get range boost and stability boost but there's not like one single perk that is going to make or break a weapon so very average middle perks for the final perk that is kind of the defining factor of the gun we have firefly so it's it's not horrible i feel like it's more built for pve um something that you'd want to shoot for in that slot would be kill clip so something like the old fashioned is really good firefly is solid and i for some reason it feels like the bullet magnetism on people's heads are bigger while i'm using it like whenever I've had a gun with Firefly on it, everyone's heads, especially on like the final kill or the final shot of the kill, they just feel like massive watermelons. That like you're expl like I, I have a, I had a Firefly sniper in Destiny One, and people's heads were just like big pumpkins to shoot at. Additionally, for the sight options, you have some pretty good sights. Uh, the main one is Steady Hand, which was kind of weird because True Sight and Sure Shot were the best ones in Destiny One, but for some reason, Steady Hand seems to have the best combination of stability, so less recoil as well as better registration. Um, so that's what I'm running and for the most part if I have a hand cannon That's the site that I'm always aiming for uh, so that's a plus I guess you'd say in the site category overall It's a pretty decent weapon, but it's nothing insane So if you want to go with that precision frame style hand cannon where the recoil just goes straight up I'd say you're probably gonna have a better time using the crimson which is an exotic hand cannon Basically the same exact thing as red death three round burst hand cannon with the same recoil pattern Except for you reset your magazine on headshot kills as well as you uh, start regening health off of every single kill. So this weapon is fun. It's kind of cool because the recoil style is a lot different from what we've seen on hand cannons in the past. But if you really want the recoil on your hand cannon to just be straight up, I'd say you're probably going to have a better time using the Crimson. On a scale
scale of one to ten, I'd probably rate this weapon at about a six or a seven because the weapon, like, it wasn't really stand out for me. And I think this might be influenced by the fact that I was playing against laser pointers the whole entire day. So maybe it seemed a lot worse than it actually is. But for some reason, I found a lot more success, even when the, the particle beam was out, the Prometheus lens, I found a lot more success with normal hand cannons. This could be because I'm not quite used to it yet, but the overall, like, straight up recoil feel is kind of weird to me. And, and it makes it a little bit harder to manage uh, my recoil and, and aim my shots better. But that's just me. So if you like it, that's all good. Um, it's, it's still going to be a good weapon and a fun weapon to use. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in my next video. And if you want to make sure that you're, you know, you're subscribed and you, and you don't want to miss a video, go to my channel and click on the bell to enable post notifications. Uh, and that will make sure that you do not miss a video in your sub box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.